Welcome to the Investors Trading Academy Economic Calendar of the Week. Each week, our news analysts review the upcoming economic events that you should be monitoring. It's not often that you can say it, but a relatively quiet week lies ahead in the US, and the focus across China and Europe is likely to be on the Services Sector Purchasing Managers Indexes, released on Monday and Tuesday. There are also five Federal Reserve policymakers scheduled to speak over the week. In addition, the RBA statement and the EIA crude inventories should create volatility in AUD crosses and WTI respectively. The non-farm payrolls have generally seen a boost for the US dollar while sending indices lower. With the latest monthly US jobs data now out of the way, the focus will shift back towards central banks in the run-up to the Federal Reserve's policy meeting on the 27th of April and the start of the US earnings season on the 11th of April. Against that backdrop, the release of the minutes of the Fed's meeting on March 15-16 would be closely scrutinised for any further possible understanding of the central bank's thinking, which might be gleaned from them. The ISM's Service Sector Purchasing Manager Index on Wednesday would also be closely tracked, given the importance in the current juncture of the US services sector in propping up the rest of the economy. Indeed, much as in 2015 and as of the 1st of April, the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta's GDP Now model was pegging US GDP growth in the first quarter at just 0.7% in annualised terms, as the tight oil sector and related investment continues to buckle under the threat of renewed price falls. Figures on the US durable goods orders for February, which were scheduled for release on Monday, would also be closely tracked. In the UK as well, the latest readings on the widely followed market service sector PMI on Tuesday will help markets gauge the near-term momentum in the economy. Corporate data is all but absent in the week preceding the next US earnings season, but Marks & Spencer's latest trading statement will be of note given recent broker concerns regarding the outlook for the clothing division.